Now, elections uh, held a year ago today gave 41 men and women across England and Wales sweeping new powers over our police forces. The idea was to make policing more transparent and accountable. But 12 months on, new polling has revealed that two-thirds of people don't feel they've made a difference. 90% of us don't even know who they are. Callum Watkinson's report contains flash photography from the start. A year ago, nationwide elections put 41 police and crime commissioners in power. The £100 million cost of the election was high, the 15% turnout historically low. In a speech last week, the Home Secretary outlined what a successful commissioner should look like 12 months on. How visible and accountable are they? asked Theresa May. What reforms and innovations are they driving? and to what extent are they making full use of their powers to hold their forces to account. While the PCCs gathered at a conference in London yesterday to wish each other happy birthday, this is the kind of place they spend much of their time. A community policing meeting in Birmingham, where West Midlands PCC Bob Jones is the guest speaker. For 26 years, a member of the police authority he has replaced, he's always believed the new system is the wrong system, and a year in the post hasn't changed his mind. Bob, you're quite unique amongst politicians in arguing for the abolition of your own job. Well, I think the, the evidence is that we've spent £100 million and caused immense disruption on uh, having a, a poorer system of governance and accountability than before. If you look at every single major job that uh, the police authority used to do, the police and crime commissioner has inherited, it's been done less well up and down the country. In West Mercia, independent Bill Longmore caused controversy when he gave his campaign manager a deputy job with a £50,000 salary. But what do voters in Worcester make of his first 12 months in office? Do you have any opinion on how well Bill Longmore has done in his first year in office? Oh, sorry, I don't even know him. Um, I've hardly heard anything of him at all. Who is he? Do you have any view on Bill Longmore's first year in office? No. no. Do you know who he is? No idea. To be honest, I don't know what he's done. Do you know who Bill Longmore is? No. <laughs> no idea who Bill Longmore is, I'm afraid. Should I know that? I don't know who that is. No idea? No idea. No idea at all? No. I'm surprised, actually. You're probably unfortunate of the people you spoke to. Yes, uh, in the last 12 months, my deputy and myself, we've, we've attended and addressed over 600 meetings of councils and various other organisations. And they've entered into an alliance with neighbouring Warwickshire to save money by sharing certain services, the kind of reform Theresa May is so keen on. In fairness, the PCCs are more visible than the policing boards they've replaced, and if we don't like them, we can always vote them out. That's a power we didn't have before. Callum Watkinson, ITV News. Now in